Hi everyone, my name is Kevin and today I want to show you how you can record your computer screen entirely for free and using an app that's already available as part of Windows 10. Not only can you record your screen, but you could also overlay audio from your microphone on top of your video. Um, so how do you do it? Well, let's go check it out. Uh, here I am on my desktop and I have my YouTube page open and let's say that I wanted to uh, record a video on this page. How do I do that? Well, I mentioned that Windows 10 comes with an app. Uh, the Xbox app comes with a screen recorder. Uh, it was originally intended for recording games, but you could also use it for any type of recordings, not just games. Let's say you want to record a browser window. Let's say you want to record uh, your Word app. You could record all of that. Well, how do we do that? Uh, the first thing you're going to do is on your Windows keyboard, you're going to click the shortcut key Windows G. So here I clicked on Windows G um, and that opened up the Xbox game bar. Uh, you'll see a few different options on the game bar. Uh, you have a few different ones, like if you want to open the Xbox app, you could take a screenshot. There are a number of different things, but what we care about is this red button because this will kick off your screen recording. Uh, but before we do that, I want to jump into the settings to make sure that we can figure things in a way that will work the best for uh, capturing your screen. Uh, what I'm going to do is click on this little gear here and the, the one that we care about is the game DVR tab. So I'll click into that and uh, you also have the option to edit more preferences in Windows settings. We'll click into that but before we do that uh, the one thing I want to make sure we do is set the audio quality to 192 kilobits per second. That's the best audio quality. You might as well set it to the best quality. Um, so now let's jump into the Windows settings. Um, here within, uh, so this has all the game bar settings. Uh, on the bottom of the screen here, you'll, uh, you'll notice some shortcut keys. Uh, the, one of the most relevant ones is to open the game bar, you press Windows G. Uh, what you can also do on your keyboard uh, to start and stop the recording, you press Windows Alt R at the same time, and that'll start a recording or that'll stop a recording. It's kind of a nice thing to have where you can just press the shortcut key. Um, another one that's nice to have too is the Windows Alt M. So if you press Windows Alt M, uh, that'll toggle your microphone on and off. Uh, but those are two good shortcut keys to know how to use. Uh, the next thing I want to do is there's another uh, tab on the side of the screen called the Game DVR. So let's click into that uh, and check out these settings. Now, within here, you'll see a few different things uh, where um, you'll see where it saves your files. Um, here by default, it puts it in my videos folder under captures. Uh, a few other things, the record length, you could set it up to four hours. I don't know why you'd want to record video that long, but you have that option. Uh, I, could also, uh, deter I could also decide whether I want to turn my microphone on or off as part of the recording. Um, I like to have audio along with my recording, so I'll make sure that's checked on. Um, here too, you could also set the audio quality. They, re they recommend 128 kilobits per second. If you want the best sounding audio, I'd go with 192 kilobytes per second. That'll just give you the, the best sounding um, audio. Um, a few other things that you could do here is you could set the frame rate of the screen capture. Um, if you're playing a game, uh, you might want to set it to 60 frames per second. It'll probably look smoother. Um, but if you're just going to be recording, say, a browser window or something else, uh, you could set it to 30 frames per second and that'll look fantastic. Uh, and then the, uh, the last thing down here, you have video quality. You could either set it to uh, standard or high. Um, if you set it to standard, the, the video isn't as crisp. Um, I always set it to high. That way everything just looks uh, beautiful. Um, it'll be nice and crisp. All the text will look really nice. Um, so set that to high. Um, and then the last option you have is capture mouse cursor in recordings. Uh, so if I want to capture my mouse, um, I'll turn that on. If I don't want my mouse to show up, I'll turn that off. Uh, generally, when I'm putting together a recording, I like having the mouse there so people could follow along with what I'm doing. So I'll just check that and make sure that's turned on. Okay, so now, now that we went through the settings, uh, we're all set to start our screen recording. Um, I'm going to close this window. I'm going to go back to my YouTube uh, homepage here and I'll press the Windows G key. Um, and now the game bar pops up and I could click on start a recording. Uh, so now the recording started. You'll see a little uh, timer here that shows me how long I've been recording for. Uh, what I could do now is I could click into the different pages. Uh, here we could go learn about me. When I joined YouTube, I joined YouTube in 2007, so about 11 years ago, which I guess is a pretty long time. Uh, see how many views. You could read about me if you're interested. Uh, I could click into all my videos and see the videos I've done. And so you get the idea that I could, I could do this recording. And uh, from here, you could toggle the microphone on and off. Um, I could also stop the recording. Um, here I'll just stop the recording. Uh, and, and so with that, I've uh, finished my screen recording. 
Uh, so where does the recording go? How do I get back to it? Um, what you could do is if I uh, click here, this will open up the Xbox app. Um, over on the left-hand side of the Xbox app, if I click on this navigation, I can go to the game DVR. Um, within the game DVR, I'll see all my different recordings here. Here's the recording I just put together. Um, I could play that. And uh, what I can also do is if you want to go uh, and use Windows Explorer to get back to the file, I could uh, simply click on open folder. And uh, here you'll see all my different screen captures. I could click on that one. Uh, and here that'll just play my uh, screen recording. You'll see the quality looks uh, pretty decent in there. Um, and that's the, uh, that's the free screen recorder that comes with Windows 10 um, in the Xbox app. Uh, how does the screen recorder compare to other ones? Well, the only drawback with the uh, using Xbox to record your screen is that you could only record one window at a time. Uh, let's say that I want to record you know, two different windows at the same time. Let's say going back and forth between Windows Explorer and my Xbox app, uh, it won't support that. It'll only do one window at a time. Um, in most cases, that's good enough. And for an app that just comes with Windows 10 uh, for free, there's no download required. Um, it's, it's a pretty good option. I, you know, typically when I need to record something, um, I'll start there. If I need something more complicated, I'll use another app. Uh, but in most cases, you know, that works just fine. Uh, well, anyway, that's how you can capture your screen using Windows 10 for free, no download, and you could also overlay your voice. Um, so pretty easy. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. And if you want to see future content like that, like this, uh, please hit the subscribe button, and that way you'll get notified anytime more content like this comes out. Thanks.